M G. Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement as I'm about to watch season one, episode four of House of the Dragon. And I almost called it Game of the Dragons. And it's right. But before I do, I want to take a brief second to talk about Otto Hightower. What a gray, 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 gray character. And I don't know if I like him or if I appreciate him. Because that man, he is methodical. He's quiet and he's stealthy and he's getting shit done. But do we like that? <laughs> and that's why I'm conflicted. Cause it appears to me, okay, so he's a man who, from what I think what they've said, his family isn't really necessarily powerful. I think someone very kindly, a couple episodes back put in the comments that their family has something to do with like knowledge and the seps and, and the, I want to say the cathedral, but not the cathedral. Citadel? The citadel? So I'm thinking, like, he's as powerful as anyone could be in his family. There is no way he will be king. But being the hand of the king, that's a position of power. And he will do what it takes to keep that position of power. Meaning he will give good advice to his king because he wants his king to stick around because therefore he sticks around. But we saw what he did. We know he's going to take advantage of every opportunity available, which is, I'm guessing, why he had his daughter be friends with the princess. Also why he immediately put his daughter in front of the king when the queen passed away. We knew what he was doing. It looked like Allison knew what he was doing as well. I'm still curious as to how she feels about the whole thing or if she's just of the, this is my job, is to do what my dad says, I'm supposed to marry well, can't marry any better than the king. I'm doing my daughterly duties. But then, okay, so now Otto's got this grandson who should, could, would be king. How does he ensure that? He suggests that Renera marries her half-brother. But also, which I didn't put together, but very nicely, thank you, Mama Seesaw, in the comments from the last episode, mentioned that if Viserys was like, sure, let's engage the siblings to be married, he would not, Aegon would not be able to have kids for another, normally you would say 20 years, but this is Westeros, so 12 years, he wouldn't be having children. So that's 12 years, Renera would be late 20s, early 30s. Something could have happened to her along the way. She maybe they'll say, oh, she's too old to start having children because she'll be 40, 50 when they're heirs. So it was a way to like bypass Renera stealthily because that's what Otto does. And that whole scene when he was suggesting that what I thought was hilarious was that Viserys didn't start laughing out loud because Otto suggested his children marry. Oh, no, it was because Dagon was too that's what made him laugh so hard. <laughs> so <Jacob. laughs> uh, uh, So Otto, what is your goal? What is his goal? Is his goal just to secure his family's position? Or is there more to it? I don't know. Again, I don't know if I'm rooting for him or against it. Because he's also very stealthy with making it look like that's not what he was doing. There was that scene. Um, that banquet scene, beginning of episode three, where he's talking to his brother. And he's like, oh, no, Egon's never going to be king. It's Renera. It's always Renera. And his brother's like, no, you better talk the king into it. <gasps> Why would I talk the king into it? Man, he's stealthy. Ooh. So I'm respecting the player, but I don't know if I want to root for him or not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Another thing about that last episode that struck me greatly was like the symbolism and I guess you could say the metaphor for that hunt the hunt and how if you are an entitled male things are just handed to you so here's the king he didn't hunt down the stag other people hunted it down for him tied it down handed him a spear and went there you go take your hunt my lord and it's like 
what? What? But then we had Rhaenyra, who was attacked, essentially had to, she did have some assistance, yes, but for the most part, she was the one that killed that boar just for her own safety. She had to fight to survive. Brilliant. It was brilliant. I appreciate it. And we also had somebody, also, Crystal L in my comments mentioned how both Renera and Damon both ended up completely covered in blood during that episode. Excellent. I love good symbolism. When people really search for symbolism, yeah, but something that's really good, solid. Oh, I love it as much as witty dialogue. Witty dialogue is my jam. Really good symbolism. That's another. <laughs> So the battle at the Stepstones is over. Where does that leave Damon? Hero? Villain still? Semi-villain? I don't know, but I guess we'll just have to find out. So I'm going to settle in with my blanket. I got an Irish coffee sitting next to me. I hope you are all comfy as well. And let's get to it. Right. It is well fortified against any future. Are these men fighting for her hand? It is situated most pleasingly. Is he proposing marriage to him or an uh. son? My God, it's the bachelorette. The man is older than my father. It's unseemly for him to put himself forward as a contender for my hand. Next. <laughs> Oh no! From the, oh. And now a child. <sighs> My princess, ours is a bond that has long endured. If chosen as your match, princess, your day shall be easy and night safe under my protection. Ah, oh, that's a bold kid. Princess has a dragon, you dumb cunt. <laughs> Craven. <gasps> Oh my god, please don't kill the kid. Please don't kill the kid. Happily row myself back to King's Landing if I brought an end to this ridiculous pageant. Oh! Oh! What? What? Oh! 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 <laughs> How do you think he will take it? Do you speak of how you rejected every suit his grace put before you, or how you abruptly ended the tour with two months remaining? How long has she been out searching? Oh man! Oh! Fetch the maester! I'm fine. That's a concussion! He's not expecting to see her, I take it then. Is he gonna bring back Drahar's head? What is his crown made out of? And he cut his hair, what? What is happening? Add it to the chair. You wear a crown. Once we smash the triarchy, they name me King of the Narrow Sea. But I know that there is only one true king, Your Grace. My crown and the stepstones are yours. So when next he makes him master of Death for now. Come. Meet my babe you're gonna kill. 
<laughs> he has no interest in such things. I'd like to see them. <sighs> oh, well, then you should not deprive yourself. I shall enjoy them alone. He's such an ass to her. <laughs> oh, did she have the baby? I surmise the tour did not go well. I enjoyed it as long as I could. Have every young knight and lord in the Seven Kingdoms fawning over you. What misery. Those men and boys don't fawn over me. They only want my name in my Valyrian blood for their offspring. I think it's rather romantic. Then you're a fool. How romantic it must be to get imprisoned in a castle and me to squeeze out to heirs. Mm-hmm. Renera knows what's up. What do you want? <laughs> Where's his mistress? Though I do suppose you seem changed by your adventures. Much or perhaps. She is noticing he has matured. You've matured yourself these last four years, princess. Valosut, it did not the Mario suit that the Lasagon cost us. Abra suit for Jitsus. Una no had a run near Picago ni say tax, the parseri morcacotas, and cos watchers potilunda or. I wouldn't want to either. It seems we have traded a crab feeder for a sea snake. This is clearly a rebuke for passing over Lady Lena for Queen. Certainly it cannot still be wrath. The sea snake is an overproud man, to be sure, Your Grace. He plans to wed his daughter Lena to the Sea Lord's son. Okay. If House Valarian entered into an alliance with the Free Cities, we would have to seek our own marriage pact. That's what you're calling it. Someone in her room, do I need to plug my ears? She didn't know that was there this whole time. <laughs> you hear the Aladdin theme song Arabian Nights too in your head. I know you do. <laughs> Although they didn't have that in Aladdin. <laughs> Wish to know your death, child? No! So which body part is he losing now? <laughs> Sorry, the ratio perspective of him in that tub just looked <laughs> And now we come to the matter of the great iron chair! Oh no, there's a play about a this. Bum it might bear. Oh no. A girl! His heir! Okay, so now we're finding out how the rest of the kingdom feels about it. A babe is born. Oh. A son! <laughs> My slander! Mm. Yeah, just a few will. <laughs> what were those guys? And who might you be running from now? It's the Hobbit. Princess. <laughs> Pardon me, Your Grace. The King has requested your presence. The hour is quite late. Yes, Your Grace. That's the one kind of nice thing about these time gems, which I'm not minding really at all. I feel as if in Game of Thrones, they would have given us a good amount of time with the wedding and the wedding night and her deflowering and whatnot. And we got to miss all of that. And I'm not mad. Oh, and now Renair is getting an education now, isn't she? That is enduring. She is enduring. Oh. <laughs> he 
hey demon, what are what are you what are you gonna teach her? And they would all know she's the princess, right? Walking through the brothel? And that's not somehow gonna get back to the king? Or at least Otto? What is this place? Pumpkin. <laughs> Fucking is a pleasure, you see. For the woman as it is the man. coming we knew it was coming mm. marriage is a duty yes but like isn't she supposed to be pure and whatnot on her wedding day whoever her husband is unless it's the kid <laughs> it's going to figure this out oh no <gasps> oh no She's hooked. The little boy knows who that is. Oh, is that one of the sparrows? The sparrows are, no, that's like 100 plus years before, but maybe the sparrow line of communication was around then. Yeah, you better get on that, Sir Kristen. I, I shall alert the Lord Commander. <laughs> you finished? Nope. He's got a fire that needs to be put out. Do I want this to happen? Yes. Should it happen? No! No, 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 no. I like him too much. He needs to stay around longer. <laughs> she knows how to do that pretty well, doesn't she? You can turn back. Oh, nope, he's not. Never mind. <laughs> so many opportunities. He better hope that nobody's checking to make sure he's at his post. A messenger brings word from the white worm. Oh. Oh, she's still with him. Where is he? I learned that the uh, skin trade could only take me so far in this life. You never were one to stay idle. Oh, what did he say to them then? Oh, what is happening? What was he told? It is no easy thing to tell a father of his daughter's exploits. Mm, I think you're relishing this though. The princess was spied last evening in a pleasure house. What of it? <laughs> she was carrying on with her uncle. <laughs> they were engaged in behaviors unbecoming of a maiden. Becoming of a maiden unless she is my daughter, which you were doing at the same time. What behaviors? Same thing you were doing to my daughter. Are they going to make her undergo an inspection? And then they'll think it was Damon? Creeping through the gates from King's Landing, disguised as a page during the hour of the owl. I thought you'd call it. Okay. You're so sick with ambition that you would have my daughter stalked. Your designs are obvious. Oh, is this backfiring on him? Do you wish to have your blood on the Iron Throne so badly that you are willing to destroy mine own? Your Grace. Oh, 
Oh, I am intrigued now. <laughs> Oh, okay. Come. Oh, oh, hello. She's not going to be able to hide it, is she? It's going to be all over her face. Mm hmm. Come. Mm -mm -mm. Princess, I have a message from the Queen. My father has made some worrying allegations about you. Your father accused me of something. Was I drank wine, left the castle after dark. But you fucked Damon in a pleasure house. Ooh. <laughs> you Targaryens do have queer customs. And Damon certainly knows no limit. Alison, your grace, sister, you must know <gasps> I would... Oh, 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 she's desperate. To question my virtue is an act of treason. I was only a spectator. I didn't do anything. And then Damon sank into his cups and uh, abandoned me for some whore. Should have known better. She better get married right quick. <laughs> oh no. The king demands an audience, my friend. <laughs> she better not have gotten pregnant. Seriously. Although if it comes out, little black-haired baby. <laughs> oh, he's right for a kick in the head. When we were in Nira's age, we fucked our way through most of the brothels on the street of silk. We were young men. Nice. is a woman grown. Better her first experience be with me than some whore. What lord will wed her now in this condition? Wed her to me. There it is. You are already wed. That didn't stop Egg on the Conqueror from taking a second wife. You <laughs> are no conqueror. Of course. It's not my daughter you lust for, is it? my throne. Go back to the veil, Damon. Was there a knife in the fire? Before Egon's death, the last of the Valyrian pyromancers hid his song in the steel. The burden of this knowledge. It is larger than the throne. Jaehaerys would have disinherited you. You've yet to ask me for the truth of what happened. The truth does not matter, Rhaenyra. Only perception. That is unfortunately true. Now we must both suffer the consequences. You will wed Selene of Valarian. Ooh. And you will do so without protest. The son of the sea snake. So I can be a remedy for your political headaches. You are my political <laughs> headache. <laughs> and what will you do about the vulture who perches upon your throne? What vulture? Your hand. <laughs> oh, look at her go! He wants Aegon to be named heir. And he will stop at nothing to see it done. Including spying on me to bring about my ruin. But you kind of helped him with that, pumpkin. I will do my duty as heir. But you must first do yours as king. Which is what? Which is what? Jaehaerys named a great royal hunt to celebrate him being named the Hand of the King. Five days later, my father lay dead. It was a grim day. I recall it all too well. Does he know? It was a good day for you. Jaehaerys named you Hand in Balon's stead. How long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? I will never recover from Emma's death, but Alison, she took me through the worst of my grief. There was a reason for she that. She was a calculated distraction. I only now realize how well calculated it was. That is an absurdity. 
The queen loves you. Hmm. A loyal hand must tell his king a discomforting truth from time to time, your grace. If he doesn't, he's failed as a servant. Look at him, trying to keep it together. Trying to keep it together. To yourself! But I can no longer trust your judgment. And an enemy has been made! Come. Don't just open the door willy-nilly to anybody who knocks. I hope you can forgive the late hour, Princess. I took great care in its preparation. O-M-G. Neither prove ineffective or else bear unpleasant... Properly. I'm sorry, what is that? You know what it is. A tea, Princess. From the king. <gasps> it will rid you of any unwanted consequences. That episode should be called Fuck Around and Find Out. Because that's what everyone did. Otto. Mm. A little too, a little too ambitious. A little too, a little too eager. He speaks the truth and that's what smacks him in the ass. Ooh. What was Damon? What was he trying to do? What was his goal? Okay, I can see him getting Renera, creating a bond with her. Why? I'm not certain. Was his play always to somehow wed her? Or was he just trying to create a bond with somebody in his family that he might enjoy their company with? And then took it too far. Because he pulled back. Was he regretting his choices or was that a calculated move? And what Damon can't quite tell because he's really good at playing the game too. But I bet he didn't anticipate Renera jumping right all over Sir Kristen afterwards. And I'm not 100% sure. Did Damon and Renera have sex or were they about to? It looked like they did, but then it looked like he stopped. So that's why I'm not sure. But we know she has sex with Sir Kristen and it looked enjoyable. So good on her. At least she had one, one night of pleasure so far in her life. Guess we know Allison's not having any pleasure whatsoever. So Otto's been fired, not banished, fired. Where does he go next? Because Viserys, he has made an enemy. And even though Allison's Otto's daughter, queen does he do what's best for her Aegon's his grandson does he do what's best for Aegon or does he realize Aegon may or may not be king so many story questions that I will just have to watch to find out what happens because I can't guess does the wedding take place between the Valerians are there the Garians? I don't know <laughs> another enjoyable episode of House of the Dragon. There we go. Okay. So, wow. Well, this is just going. What happens next? I would love to hear your thoughts. So please share them with me. Also, please take care of yourself. Have you eaten something today? Have you stretched your body? Take a quick walk around the room and then, and then watch the next video from me in your list. That would be great. So thank you again. And until next time, y'all.